Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to send a certified mailing in Postalmate. There's a couple of things that you'll need. If you're using a return receipt, you'll need this light green return receipt label. You'll also need these certified mail stickers. Both of these things you can get for free on the USPS website or using your Indicia account. You'll also need the dimensions of your envelope that you're using. For today's demonstration, I'm going to be using a number 10 security envelope. So first things first, let's move over to Postalmate. So inside Postalmate, we're going to click on Parcel or Document. We're going to select our customer information and our ship to information. We're then going to place our mailing on the scale so that we get the correct weight. And we're going to say packed by customer. OK, so the packing and dimension screen, this is important. So I'm going to use the dimensions of this envelope. I'm going to round up, so we're going to use 10 by 5. And this last box for the dimension is the important part. I'm going to put 2.5 in here. Now, putting 2.5 in that box is going to tell Postalmate that this is a letter, and it's going to give us pricing for first class mail. Um, if you put 1 in there, it's not going to give you um, pricing for a mailing because it thinks it's a package. So it's important to put 2.5. We're going to click Next. We're not going to give this any declared value. We're going to wait for the rates to load. And we're going to click on the Post Office tab. Now, you'll see here the USPS First Class Mail option says Letter Out next to it, and it's $1.73. If we go back and we adjust these dimensions to be for a flat envelope, and we also leave 0.25 in the last dimension box. You'll see under the post office tab, USPS first class flat. So there is a difference. It is important to put the correct dimensions in there so that you get the correct price on your mailing. But for this demonstration, we're just going to use a regular sized envelope. So let me get that changed. All right. So we've got USPS first class mail letter. It's $1.73. We're going to click that option, and then we're going to click Next. Then this screen will come up. You're going to click on Certified, because we're sending it certified. And then if the customer wants a return receipt, we're also going to click the Return Rece Receipt box. Now, this next screen is going to ask you for the return receipt tracking number. You'll just scan with your scanner the tracking number on the return receipt, and then it's automatically going to pre-fill that box for you, and then you're done. You'll also want to use this non-machinable um, selection because the way that Postalmate prints out a label is a non-standard, uh, non-machinable surcharge. So you'll want to go ahead and put that in there every time. Doesn't matter whether you're using a regular size number 10 envelope or a flat, you just always want to do non-machinable just to be safe. It's an extra 70 cents for your customer. I do it every time. None of my customers have ever complained. So once you get to the last screen and you click finish, it's going to print out your 4x6 label from Postalmate. Right, so here's your 4x6 label. Now it's important um, to go to other activities and print a second label if you're using a return receipt label. So I'm going to print a second one. So now we have two. One of these is going to be for the information on my return receipt, and the other one is going to go on the front of the uh, envelope. All right, so. We're done with what we need to do inside Postalmate. Now we're going to prepare our envelope. So the way that you're going to prepare your, prepare your envelope, you're going to make sure all your mailings are inside. You're going to put your 4x6 label on the front of the envelope. And you're going to take one of these certified mail stickers and you're going to put it above the label. And you'll see on your certified mail 
label that you printed, the 4 by 6 label, it's going to say certified mail right there. And then it's also going to say return receipt requested because we chose that option. So since we're using a return receipt, we're going to use our second label and we're going to fill out the return receipt with the information on this label. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the tracking number off of this label and put it on the return receipt. That way we don't have any transposed numbers and all the information is correct just as it is on the 4x6 label on the front. So an effort of time, I'm going to do that off camera. All right, so I've prepared my return receipt, which is gonna go on the back of the envelope where you seal it. So the front of your envelope should look just like this. It should have your four by six label and your certified mail sticker on the front of it. And on the back is where you're gonna place your return receipt. And as you can see, I've just cut the information that needs to go on the return receipt. So the person that is actually shipping the certified mail, the one that wants to get the return receipt back, they're going to be on the back. So it'll say sender, and then you're going to put the sender's information in the box on the back. And on the front, you're going to put the ship to information. So that's going to be the article address to is where you'll put the ship to information. And you'll see on your 4x6 label that came from Postalmate, you'll see the ship to information. So always just remember, put the ship to information on the front and the sender's information on the back. And you can see that there's a tracking number down here on this return receipt. That is for the certified tracking, right? We've already got a tracking number pre-printed on the return receipt, which we've scanned in Postalmate. And then we have the certified tracking number, which I've cut off of the second label that I printed, and I put it in box number two directly below the return receipt tracking. That way, I cut it out, it looks exactly like what's on this label, there's no way I can make a wrong number in there or transpose anything, it's exactly the same as on the front, works every time. So we'll just take our little sticky tabs off the back of this return receipt, and we will attach it to the back of the envelope. And that's it. That is your completed certified mail envelope. So the back of the envelope has the light green return receipt on it, and the front of the envelope has the 4x6 label that you printed from Postalmate and a certified mail sticker. Super easy. I just get a ton of questions about this, and I just wanted to make a simple video that people could go back and reference if they had questions. So I hope this helps you out. Have a great day.